Hello students, welcome once again in the new lecture, Space and Time, in which we will describe the frame of reference in the classical mechanics lecture. So you can just have the heard about space and time. So space and time, you can just say it is the continuous property as well as you can just say that this is the assumption that space and time are continuous. And if we discuss motion of a particle, so the motion of a particle, if we talk about space, so the motion of the particle in the space can be described by knowing its position at different instant of the time. So, if we have motion particle, ka kisi particle ka pata karna hai, we have to just find out the position of the respective particle at different instants of the time. And third thing, you can just say that there are universal standard when we discuss the space or you can just say the length and the time. We discuss the length and the time with length is measured in the meter and the time you know the basic units of these are meter and the time we have the second respectively so we have the further this space and time concept suppose any physical phenomenon it is just go, going to take place in a space which is occurring in a space so in this case position is known as a point position ko hum us samay kya represent karenge point ki tarah and the time of occurrence and the point at which this phenomenon is going to be take place that event that is known to be an event means in a space any phenomenon which is going to take place at a certain point with the inclusion of the time of occurrence then it is called the event you can just say that you can just have idea if any observer who has synchronized his clock will always agree about the time of an event at which time this event is going to take place so there is involvement of the time second thing you can just have the geometry of the space and always we prefer the euclidean geometry means any phenomenon which is going to take place so how we have to describe how the what is the particular geometry of that this is given by the euclidean geometry you can just say and there is no limit the principle of accuracy with which we can just measure the position and the momentum or in other words you can just see that when we are describing the motion of the particle so i have a let's say to you when we are describing the motion of the particle so in this case we are just required the position position of the particle at different instant of the time now this needs the choice of reference of the body or the coordinate system so position ke liye hame jandi kya chahiye hame ek proper coordinate system chahiye or the reference chahiye us particular wo define karne ke liye now you can just see that if we just imagine a coordinate which is attached to a certain rigid body and we describe the position of any particle relative to it then such a coordinate system is called the frame of reference agar hame kya karna hai agar ab hum ek imagine kare ek coordinate system jo kya hai attached hai kisi rigid body ke sath sath hi sath hame kya karna hai if you have to describe the position of any particle uske sapeksh mein then such a coordinate system is called the frame of reference use hum kya kahenge hum उस साथ जिस जिससे हम क्या दे पा रहे हैं वी हैव द प्रॉपर इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द पोर्शन ऑफ द पार्टिकल एनी पार्टिकल विच इज रिलेटेड टू दैट पर्टिकुलर कोऑर्डिनेट सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस उसे हम क्या कहेंगे उसको जनरली हम कहेंगे फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस लाइक यू जस्ट सी इन द फिगर हियर आई हैव प्लॉटेड हियर फॉर द लोकेशन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट पोजिशन वेक्टर दिस कैन बी गिवन बाई दिस आर हियर नाउ द सिंपलेस्ट फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस इज आवर Cartesian coordinate system. Cartesian coordinates meaning to say we have x, y, z here. So we have taken here in this diagram x, y, z plane here. So the simplest of the example of the frame of reference you can just say or the coordinate system is the Cartesian coordinate system here, in which there is only the three Cartesian uh, parameters which are x, y, z here. In this, the position of a particle at any point of regarding this path is given by a position vector. How? What is the particular path of this particle? Means particle is here and going to a certain point P. This is the particular path, and this can be given by. It is called here R. What is R called? It is called the position vector here. This is called the position vector. इसी को हम क्या कहते हैं? Position vector कहते हैं. And this is expressed in the three Cartesian coordinates, which are here x, y, z here. So you can just say position vector R is given by x i cap plus this y j cap plus this z and k cap. K cap. Here, i j k are the unit vectors along the respective x y and z axis. Now, this is called the proper frame of reference here. In this, you can just look at here figure. This is called the frame of reference here, in which we have described a particle or a particular point, respective to the particle, and 
this is the position vector and this is particularly giving information about the path the particle has followed so this is the position vector respectively for describing the path of the particle and it is explained in terms of x y and z and i j k are the unit vectors now in order to know the position of the particle at different instant of time means in this case an observer us samay kya karna padega may be stationed at the origin with a certain he must have a clock at a to measure the time how we can measure the time so we have to place a observer kahan par origin par with a clock to just measure the time us case mein hame time measure karna so us in this case kyunki hame different instant of the time par kya chahiye hame uski position chahiye kiski particle ki position chahiye so we obtain the position vector r of the particle as a function of time means jo ye position vector r hai wo ab wahan par inclusion kiska ho raha time ka involvement ho ja raha r this is related with the now the time so in this case we can have from this this is equation of the time means you can just say r equals to here r t here so we can have in this regard we have the velocity component means velocity we can just define velocity is what this is equals to dr upon rate of change of this position it is called the velocity so dr upon dt this can be written as this dx upon dt i cap plus this dy upon dt j cap plus dz upon dt this is k cap here so what is the respective this is the velocity similarly we can have the acceleration and what is the acceleration here this you can just see acceleration a this is further given by dv upon dt means velocity so agar just take the derivative of the velocity with respect to the time d upon dt this v this can be give you d square upon d square r upon dt square d square r upon dt square and we have this d square x upon dt square this is here i cap similarly d square y upon this dt square this is j cap plus d square z upon dt square this is here k cap with that the i j k are the unit vectors corresponding to the you can just see with the help of this we have developed the velocity component and the acceleration we have you can just see that the position and the time we, when we have the position and time so with the involvement of this we have a certain event means jaise aap jante hain सपोज इन ऑफ द इवेंट तो कहीं पर्टिकुलर जगह पर होगा किसी निश्चित समय पर होगा तो मीन्स वट इज इट इज कॉल्ड इट इज कॉल्ड द इवेंट मीन्स एंड सो फॉर एनी इवेंट वी कैन जस्ट हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट द फोर कॉर्डिनेट्स मीन्स वी रिक्वायर्ड हियर द फोर कॉर्डिनेट्स टू रिप्रेजेंट ए पर्टिकुलर इवेंट हियर सो वट आर दैट दिस इज एक्स वाई जेड एंड द फोर्थ पैरामीटर इज द टाइम हियर सो एक्स वाई जेड दीज आर दर्टिस कॉर्डिनेट्स एंड यू जस्ट नो दिस इज द टाइम एंड द रिफरेंस ऑफ द सिस्टम Used for this purpose may be called the space-time reference system. तो इसके लिए जो reference system use होगा इस particular event के लिए उसे हम क्या कहेंगे We will just see this the space-time reference system. We will just see space-time reference system because you will just see here x, y, z are the Cartesian one coordinates and the t जो यहाँ पर time involvement है means these are the space one. This is involvement of time. So the reference where the particular event is going to take place this we have to just acquire by space time reference system so this is the applicability of introducing the frame of reference i hope you have understand it and we will just see how it is applicability and how it is applicable in the classical mechanics as well as well the frame of reference is widely used in the special theory of relativity when we will discuss the various transformation galilean and the lorentz transformation so it has a very vital and the frame of reference we will see later on there are two type of the frame of reference inertial non inertial one so we will discuss it later on so please keep watching for the further upcoming lectures subscribe the channel and thanks a lot thanks for watching